BTC Cosworth provide all of the electronics system as a spec kit. The main component is the Antares, which is the ECU. The engine providers throughout British Touring Car uh, use the Antares' capabilities to tune, manipulate the engine according to both the regulations and performance figures that they try to meet. All of the maps that control the hybrid unit are done through the ECU. It is our responsibility as an engine supplier to ensure that the settings from Cosworth that are provided at the start of the weekend are in the ECUs and then when the cars go out on track for each session, the ECU is smart enough to determine how much hybrid each car should have. So the Antares ECU has a, a tiered security system. This allows Cosworth on behalf of the scrutineers to access all of the maps and calibrations across all teams down the paddock. Every car on the grid has the exact same electronics package, um, including our hybrid system. So Cosworth also provide and integrate the hybrid system for the teams to use and deploy. We also manage the back end algorithms of that, which make sure that drivers can deploy at the right time, they don't deploy too much, and making sure that it adheres to all the regulations that TOCA specify for the series. So the Aris P20 is effectively the control panel that we use in the car. So it's uh, basically a multifunctional uh, switch panel, um, which we can program as and how we like. Ours tend to be one touch and let go. Um, which makes it very easy to operate. They all illuminate as well, so you, you know what you pressed one, um, which is very helpful. Usual things on there like ignition, start, power steering, and headlights, indicators, wipers, obviously important for the rain. Quite a lot of the stuff you find on a normal road car to some degree, with a few bits that are race car specific. I think most cars will have pretty much the same. Um, there will be some specific ones though that we can program however we want, and that's down to our engineers. So. For example, on a hot day, like we are at Snetterton filming this, and usually it's very warm here, so we have a driver button that does sort of kind of an airflow, for basically turns a fan on. Uh, it doesn't do much, but it does its best to keep us cool. You know, if you've got something a bit special that you want to use, the switch panel will allow you to do that. So the CDU7 is probably my favorite dash that I've used in my racing career. What I really like about it is how customizable it all is starting with the 10 LED flashlights across the top of it, so we can set them to our own parameters, down to the three lights either side of it. They can be controlled by any vehicle input, which is quite unique. So I've not seen that before on any other dash. The seven inch display is really good inside the car. We can customize the display, the screen to display anything you want, from lap time deltas to previous laps to reference laps, all of which can be controlled by the engineers within the team to aid the drivers. What's very useful with the CDU7 display is how it integrates with the rest of the Cosworth systems within our British Touring Car. For example, we have the hybrid deployment system. So on our display, we'll have the battery charge to tell us how much hybrid system we have left. So throughout the race, I'll be monitoring that. I'll be monitoring the engine temperatures and relaying that back to our engineers, as well as keeping a reference time of where my lap times are, the tire drop off, and the, that dash is really the brains of the machine. Like if we didn't have the control of it, it would make my life as a professional touring car driver infinitely more difficult. Toolbox is a powerful data analysis tool, which enables us within the Cosworth ecosystem to provide real time and post event uh, analysis that allows us to check cars health uh, and performance and then make changes based on the data. Some really key benefits of Toolbox are the fact that we can have an enormous amount of data produced on the screen at any one time. We have various different mechanisms to view the data. So that's in the form of bit fields, time display, dashes, what the driver sees during the race events, which makes the engineers uh, diagnose issues much quicker. So a toolbox is a crucial tool for us during the course of the weekend. We can access data during and after the sessions, and we use this data to assess general engine health and performance. So we monitor temperatures and pressures during the session and then we refer the information back to the teams to help optimise the cars. And it also allows us to catch issues before they actually become problems. So during and after the sessions, we analyse the data and we create reports for the data and we use this to make sure that no issues are going to happen later on in the weekend. So the support team at BTCC uh, is comprised of about seven engineers. We help all of the teams and all of the drivers get the most out of their electronics package, make sure that they're running efficiently and reliably by helping them integrate electronics, change setups, diagnose issues. We also help support all the teams throughout the whole weekend.